Jija gives up his sword. In the spring and autumn period, there once lived a man called Jija. He was the fourth son of the king of Wu. Because of Jija's high-minded morality and his extensive learning, he was his father's favorite, and the king wanted to make him his heir. However, Jija refused this honor on the grounds that the heir to the throne should be the eldest son. Later, Jija went on to serve as an ambassador representing the state of Wu across China. Once, on a mission to the state of, of Lu, Jija passed through the state of Shu. The ruler of Shu received Jija as a friend, but also cast covetous eyes on Jija's sword. Overwhelmed by his desire for Jija's sword, the ruler of Shu decided to ask Jija if he would be willing to give him his sword, seeing as they were such good friends. Jija had a mission in Lu to complete. He would need his sword to complete that mission. He promised the ruler of Shu he would give him the sword once he had completed the mission on his way back home. But the ruler of Shu was an impatient man. He wanted the sword and he wanted it now. So in the name of their friendship, Jija gave him his sword. The ruler of Shu was ecstatic. Jija passed away on his mission to Lu. Rumor had it the ambassador had been attacked and without his trusty sword to defend himself had fallen victim to the surprise assault. Upon hearing this, the ruler of Shu was devastated. He had valued the beauty of a sword over the beauty of his friendship with Jija. He had coveted what was not his and in the process had lost what he had already had. The ruler of Shu abdicated from the throne and walked to the earth with nothing but Jija's sword in his hand to remind him what his greed and his desire had brought him in the end. Thank you.